What's up YouTube? It's your boy Josh out here with Infinite Bassin. Today we are in the garage and going to be showing you guys how to install the Mercury Vessel View on these new Mercury V8 four strokes. Um, haven't seen any, many videos on how to do this online and I'm uh, going to show you guys how to do it. I went ahead and took off the cowling for this thing because being that size it's kind of kind of hard to remove on your own so uh, I went ahead and pre-did that and one of the things that you'll have to do with this new engine is once you get that cover off you've got these fancy covers that are on the back side of your engine here go ahead and pop that off we're not going to need that for the time being um, go over here and look at this kit open this guy up comes with instructions comes with your module comes with a pack of hardware which we're not going to need so easiest way to do this is to look at your main cable this is what will plug in this can of plug right here is what will plug into the back of your engine and this is uh, where you'll plug in your terminating block so what we'll do is we'll walk back over here to the engine and on the back side right here you'll see it it'll have a red cap on the bottom that says terminating plug you'll grab it and squeeze that little tab right on the front there it's kind of hard to do with one hand and pull down on it comes out like that come back over here to the harness And then you're going to do the same thing to the harness. A little pin right there. Push down on it, pull. You can discard that one to the side because you're not going to need that one anymore. You'll take the one that you pulled off the engine, plug it right into that same little block. You'll hear it snap and click. You shouldn't be able to undo it. Take this whole harness over, back over to the engine right back to this little cannon plug that we pulled that out of and take the one side of the plug that you didn't plug the termination plug into feed it right back in there a little hard to do with one hand push it up till it snaps and click you guys should have heard that and that is as simple as that uh, one of the things you do want to do is uh, find a place that's not going to be around any moving parts um, anything that spins you know anything that creates a lot of heat which is kinda hard to do considering this whole thing's an engine you very, don't have very many places to put it but uh, once that's all said and done you will go to your phone bring up your vessel view app for mercury you, which you'll download off, you know, your Google Play Store, your, or what is that, whatever you guys use that have iPhones. Download this app, you'll have to register to download it after you download it, but uh, this is all you need. All of this works through Bluetooth. So let's see if we can uh, bring this up and see how it looks. So let's go ahead, turn the power on in the boat don't start it just hit it to power let's see what we got all right so right now we've got the smart craft button solid green and the Bluetooth button is searching right. I don't know how to do this but we're gonna we're gonna give it a whirl never done this before so let's see where everything's at Bluetooth is on let's see if we can find it I 
Vistleview Mobile pairing up and she's paired so let's go back to the app Live inch data requires a vestibule mobile module to be installed. Okay, let's hit connect. Scanning for devices. doesn't seem to be finding it. <sighs> Let's go back here. Where can I set you guys? <laughs> well, it's connected somehow because the Bluetooth is, uh, the Bluetooth light is solid now instead of flashing, so... No, I don't want to exit. Alright, well, once I figure this thing out on how to do this, I'll be right back. Alright, I think we might be onto something here. Um, the X on the boat up there. Connect the boats. Let's do add a boat. Still trying to find this thing, we're sitting right next to it. Go ahead and connect to it. All right, be back in a second. All right, guys, so I did the wrong sequence of things. So once you plug this thing in, you then have to turn your engine power on then open the app with your Bluetooth on and then hit connect and then it shows up like it's supposed to that's where we're at now so let's go ahead and click that module boat name let's just say Z19 is what we'll do number of engines is one serial number Let's see if that's on this plate right here. Mm, mm, mm. Of course it's not on right here. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's do a loop-de-loo. See if we can see any tags for the engine serial number. I guess I should have looked this up beforehand, huh? All right, guys, stand by. I'll be back. All right. I knew I had it wrote down somewhere. So let's go to Bravo 645209. All right, and it asks you for your fuel tank capacity, which on this boat is 50 gallons. 
hit done and then it asks you to save information so we'll save that connecting to module Preferred dealer, you have not yet selected a preferred dealer. Pick one now. Okay, let's pick one. Uh, oh, there's a bunch. So we'll just find where we bought the boat. We'll just hit boom. Gone fishing marines. Who will we will choose for our preferred dealer? Okay. Choose yes to log on for some to see your vessel did and contact you. Nope. Don't want to do that. Alright. We'll go back and back and back. Alright. So it looks like we are fully connected. Uh, let's play around a little bit. Performance. Oh, that likes you. I don't know how to work this, if you guys can't tell. This is the first time I've played with this. Alright, well, we're going to do some playing around with this and uh, get this thing all secured up and. Uh, it's as easy as that. Took a little bit to figure out the whole Bluetooth connectivity thing, but all in all, wasn't a bad process. And uh, be able to track our engine hours, maintenance, all types of things with this uh, with this thing. So uh, if you guys don't have it, you should get it.